Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Governor. Uh, we developed uh, an advanced placement incentive program starting in October of 1990. So there are lots of things that have happened and since then, but the meat of the coconut, and I'll be brief because there are others that want to uh, have some remarks and there are a number of people here. Our program works and I have summed up in eight words the essential elements of our program. One, the teacher is key. We do everything we can to recruit, retain, reward, recognize, and motivate the teacher. Second is incentives work. There are not a lot of incentives in education, but we have developed an incentive plan that does work. And we have a lot of uh, teacher unions in Texas, and there are 278,000 members. We have not had any problem over this 16, 17 year period because it recognizes their incentives are uh, extra pay for extra work. They are objectively based, they're based on uh, results, on, exam uh, on advanced placement exams, and they're privately funded. <coughs> the third thing is that persistence pays. I've got some, the data tells the story. And I want to refer to these charts. These, this first chart on the right, in, I don't know if you can see, but the, on the left or the, in red were the years before we started. This is in the Dallas Independent School District, which is a 94% minority district. And then during the time we've been working with them, we've had uh, eight superintendents, so it hadn't been any bed of roses. But, <laughs> It is working, and those blue lines show the number of passing exams. You can't monkey with the exam itself, how it's graded or reported. Those are solid numbers. So I attribute that to the teachers. The second chart, which is of interest, is the passing grades on math, science, and English. That's our focus. About, among minorities, that is to say, African American and Hispanics. And before we started, at the bottom left, you see that I think the top grade was 10, and most recent year was uh, 377. So a tremendous increase there. So it, we, our data shows the minorities can do it, the women can do it, math and science, and I think you can take comfort that you will get those results as well. The third thing has to do with persistence pays. That's the chart on the left. That's one school called Science and Engineering Magnet. And uh, years before we started, uh, there was practically nothing there. I think the best they ever had was three passing grades. And even after we started, not much was going on. But finally, that, as you can see, compared to the early start of three or four. So in all our programs, and you can see, the, we haven't run out of steam, we're still going. Um, persistence pays, and I would encourage you uh, to do that as you start. Now, with the leadership I see and the support you've generated here, I have every confidence that this program will work for you in Arkansas. Thank you. Good morning. I, my name is Gerald McKelvey, and I'm president of the ExxonMobil Foundation. And I'd like to thank all of you for joining us here today for the announcement of this new funding available to help support the education efforts uh, in math and science in the state of Arkansas. Uh, ExxonMobil is a company that utilizes technology in every element of our business. Uh, we recognize the essential role that proficiency in math and science plays in the energy business and in facilitating human progress more generally. American students sadly are falling behind their peers in many industrialized nations around the world. Our own students' performance in math and science today is slipping 
and in fact, relative to many developing countries. We believe it's fundamentally important to encourage new generations to pursue studies and careers in fields involving math and science. And our company has a long history of supporting educational programs that focus on these areas. We're very proud to have committed $125 million. In fact, this is the single largest corporate gift to education that we've ever made, and I believe the single largest corporate gift to education in the history of the United States. And so engaging our children's interest in math and science early on in life and maintaining that interest throughout their lives requires incentives for teachers and students, and Peter has just brilliantly outlined uh, the effect that incentives can have on students' interest in, in math and science. But it also means bringing new technologies and teaching methods into the classroom, and I think that's what you will see uh, with this initiative. Now, in terms of NIMSI, it's one of a number of programs that we support to improve the teaching of, and learning of math and science. Uh, we also hold a teacher's academy that we developed with the professional golfer Phil Mickelson called the Mickelson Exxon Mobile Teachers Academy. We will welcome teachers from Arkansas to join that academy. We've trained uh, more than 1,000 teachers over the last three years in some new and progressive and innovative ways to teach math and science uh, to young people in grades three through five, which are the really formative years for developing the curiosity uh, that's needed to uh, persist in studies of math and science as they grow older. Uh, another activity we support uh, is the ExxonMobil Dr. Bernard Harris Summer Science Camps. And uh, two years ago, we hosted uh, two camps with Dr. Harris at the University of Houston. Uh, we had a total of 60 students, and you would think of this as a very nice uh, corporate activity. We were stunned by uh, more than 1,000 applications for those 60 slots. And so in the summer of 2007, just concluded, we hosted 20 camps for kids around the country, and we hope to even increase that number next year. So we believe it's an important investment in the future of this country to attract and motivate and inspire young people in the study of math and science. The National Math and Science Initiative is, is one and, and perhaps maybe the, 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 the primary tool that we can use uh, to help get more kids into these areas. And I really applaud what you've done here in the state of Arkansas. I think it is a national model. We're happy to join with you in the efforts uh, that you already have underway, and we're quite proud to have funded NIMSI and, and really proud of you to be in the first round of, of award winners under the National Math and Science Initiative. Thank you very much.